Hello and welcome to Rathod's Ideas. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 10th March 2024. So we are going to take Delhi edition here. So whichever the edition you are having, so you can go with that edition. So there will be no problem with any edition. Okay. And many students, they are having tendency like skipping of Sunday's newspaper. But remember this thing always. So if you are skipping Sunday newspaper means you will be out of consistency. This is the one thing. And next one is Sunday's newspaper is important to cover your science and technology and environment related current affairs. So if you are missing then you will be not covering those. So try to don't skip the Sunday's newspaper. Okay. So let us see the articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. And not only we are going to see articles, we are going to see like different dimensions that you have to think from that article point of view. And also we are going to interconnect a single topic with the different subjects. So it is my promise like if you watch this analysis of Rathod's IS, you can write a very good mains answer and even you can write a very good essay. So it is my challenge. So there is no current affairs analysis on YouTube. You can see the analysis in this simple language and in this understandable way and even in this multi-dimensional approach. So no one is giving that. So my sincere request is if you are watching this Rathor Science Academy's current affairs analysis, please do watch consistently so that it will be very helpful in your prelims and as well as in your mains. And even I will be telling about interview questions also. So in this way, this analysis is addressing each and every stage of your UPSC so that you were achieving of your goal, your aim of achieving of your goal will become very easy if you watch this analysis. Clear? So without wasting any time, let us see the first important article. So this is the front page of our Delhi edition of Hindu. So this is the first article that you have to see. Title says NCB arrest Tamil film producer in drug racket case. So actually here you have to focus on what is this NCB and what is this drug racket case. Okay, so here NCB stands for Narcotics Control Bureau. Okay, NCB stands for Narcotic Control Bureau. So NCB arrests this film producer regarding this drug trafficking. So here you have to see various dimensions. Yes, because you are going to be the future IPS officer, maybe, or you might be your uh, going to be become like IAS officer. Yes or no? So you will be coming across this type of challenges every day. So you have to be able to maintain or to control the situation. So entire situation should be under your hands. So you have to know some dimensions. So here you have to know some facts regarding this NCB. So NCB stands for what? Narcotics Control Bureau. So you have to know like what are the provisions of this NCB. And you have to see what are the functions and mandate. So N stands for narcotics, right? So you have to know what is exactly meaning of narcotics and you have to know like which are the examples of this narcotics. Okay, so these are the some important dimensions from your narcotic controls bureau and you have to see whether it is a constitutional body or a statutory body. So constitutional body means you have to see like whether any article in our constitution is talking about this NCB or not. So if you have completed reading your uh, that Lakshmi Kant book, especially from this chapter of constitutional bodies, then you will be understanding whether this NCB is a constitutional body or not. And you have to see whether it is a statutory body or like any other body. This is very important and this topic is important from GS paper 2 under politics. 
So only one subject? No. We can connect this even with GS paper 3 internal security point of view. So why internal security? Because so this NCB is dealing with crime related to drug trafficking. So this drug trafficking is one internal issue of a country. So this is also important from internal security point of view. So from internal security point of view, you have to think dimensions like what are the challenges faced by this NCB. And you have to think like what are the measures can be taken to address these challenges. So these are the areas that you have to see from polity and as well as from internal security point of view. Yes, there is one more keyword that is drug trafficking. So drug trafficking in India is one of the major problem that we are seeing. And if you are going through the newspaper from last one year, so there were a number of cases they have filed regarding this drug trafficking, especially the sports, they are used for this drug trafficking that was seen in news. And here you have to see like examples of drugs which are trafficked, for example, cocaine, heroin, okay, charas, etc. And you have to see like what are the reasons of this drug trafficking. And this drug trafficking which is an example of organized crime. So what is it? That is an organized crime. And even this drug trafficking is also involved in this money laundering. Like in money laundering, so what are the money that we are getting from illegal activities? We are converting them, right? So here one of the illegal activities drug trafficking. So here we can connect this drug trafficking with money laundering and in turn we can connect with prevention of money laundering act. Yes, can you connect this or not? Yes, right? And you have to see like why drug trafficking is happening in India. So here from geography point of view you have to see location of India. So if you see the location of India, you can understand why this drug trafficking is a major problem. So let me draw a schematic map. So it is not exact map. So just for your understanding sake, I'm drawing map. Okay, so let me see. Okay, this is as India and this is not a perfect map. I know, but Okay, so this is India and here we have golden crescent and this is golden triangle. So I think it is not appearing like gold, right? Okay, so now this is appearing like gold, right? This is golden crescent. Yeah, and this is golden triangle. So why I am calling it as golden crescent and golden triangle? So these two are important areas where there is huge production of this drugs is happening. And India's location it is like a sandwich. So what is the meaning of sandwich? So we will be having bread and again bread and in between those breads we will be having cheese, vegetables, memos. Yes right? So the sandwich is one of my favorite snacks. Okay, so India's location is sandwiched between this golden crescent and golden triangle. So because of this, what happened easily there is drug trafficking which is happening towards India. So it is one of the major problem. So if you understand the location, you will be getting like around 40 to 50 percentage of the thing that you can understand easily with seeing the map. So what is happening? So for that geography is very important. Okay. So location of India is very important. It is one of the primary reason for this drug trafficking in India. 
and apart from that you have to see like what are the acts or what are the laws which are present in India deals with this issue of drug trafficking and even you have to see like what are the measures so whenever you are seeing measures you have to see two types of measures like what are the long term measures and what are the short term measures and even whenever you are writing measures in your main answer or in your ethics case studies so try to write short term measures and long term measures because so these problems are like centuries old problems so for these problems like which are happening through centuries if you are taking the short term measures so we can't prevent that completely so if you want to prevent that completely we have to focus on this long term measures so to decrease the problem for temporary yes we can use the short term but if you want a permanent solution you have to focus on this long term so try to give both short term and long term measures and apart from this short term and long term you can also write like what are the measures already taken by government so even the government is taking like measures but the problem is not dissolving completely or resolving completely means so you have to give some advice like what can be measures taken or you can give way forward understood like how to write a main answer from this topic yes absolutely right so this topic is important from your means from prelims point of view you can get questions regarding this narcotics control bureau but this drug trafficking is a very hot topic and it's a burning topic and many a times you got already question regarding this topic in your mains okay so these are the dimensions that you have to know from this topic point of view and now let us move on to next topic so this is the only topic important in your front page so you can leave the city page there is nothing much important and because of elections and because of lok sabha elections so most of the articles are political articles so there is no need of going through this political articles and one thing here is please don't waste your time in reading political articles clear so my students are very intelligent they know what to read and what not to read yes or no so please let me know your opinion like whether you are understanding like what to read and what not to read or not and one more thing i want to say here is yesterday night so entire the flexis fixing had happened and we opened our offline branch officially from yesterday so if you want to have the free mentorship and if you want to take admission for your foundation course or prelims test series or mains answer writing or essay or ethics so any course so you can come and talk to me directly on this offline branch and address of this branch is exactly opposite to pillar number 36 of 9e narsimha reddy steel bridge okay or 9e steel bridge pillar number 36 opposite to vijaya medicals and it is on third and fourth floor okay about winner study hall so you can come to the office and you can meet me directly and i will be available in the office from morning 9 o'clock to evening 6 o'clock but i will be coming to this office by 6:30 okay but i have to record this hindu and after once hindu recording has done then i will be available for providing free mentorship for the students so you are most welcome and if you want to talk to me you can directly come to the office and you can talk to me and even admissions for this foundation course for 2025 and 2026 had started and admissions are going on so you can come and take the admissions okay and i will be waiting for you in the office yeah so now let us move on to the state speech so in this page also i found nothing much important and there are very important articles from faq page and science page today yes here you can see one important article so title says cozy code to get india's first cooperatives museum so this word cooperatives is very important and if you are preparing for other state service examination you can get this question like india's first cooperative museum where it's located in cozy code okay that is in state of kerala so in this way you can get a question and here you have to focus on this cooperatives 
yes it is very important topic so you have to know what is the meaning of cooperatives first of all so you have to know first of all what is the meaning what is the meaning of cooperatives and examples of this cooperatives so if you go to any supermarket you can see like availability of curd milk cheese butter etc right so from brand called as amul yes or no so amul is one example of cooperative so this is the example why i am saying because everyone will be knowing this example and you have to know like constitutional provisions which are talking about this cooperative and you are also having one ministry of cooperative also so from that point of you have to know some facts and even you can see like what is the significance okay you can see like what is significance so what are the advantages you are having if you are coming up with this cooperative society so all these are very important and this topic is especially important from gs paper to polity and governance and even we can connect this topic with the gs paper 3 under economy under economy also this topic is very important because how it is going to improve our economy how these corporate societies are linked to the economic growth how these corporate societies are generating or increasing this employment because we are facing a problem called as unemployment and how these corporate societies are getting benefit from government schemes or government initiatives from all these areas so this gs paper 2 and gs paper 3 from point of view yes this corporate societies are very very important so now let us try to understand this topic and apart from that there is one important article that is arun goyal quits election commission ahead of lok sabha poll so there are some important dimensions you have to see from this article so first let us see this topic of election commissioner and later on we are going to this cooperative society topic so whenever you are seeing any topic from election commission of india it is very important and you know that free and fair election it is the basic structure of our constitution the supreme court said that free and fair elections is one of the basic structure of our constitution right so in this context you have to know like whenever any article which is coming regarding this election commission of india it will be very important from your prelims and as well as mains so from both prelims and mains point of view it is very important so how can you expect the questions from your prelims so already so there were number of times the questions asked in your upsc from prelims point of view so from prelims point of view you have to know constitutional provisions because this eci it is a constitutional body so this eci it is a constitutional body and you have to see like article 324 you have to see like article 324 of our indian constitution talks about election commission of india and who are the members so normally we have three members so one will be our chief election commissioner and other two are election commissioners okay other two are election commissioners so here you have to see like eligibility of these people and recently there is controversy regarding election commissioner appointment so there is a high chance of getting your prelims question from this area for sure and you have to see whether these people are eligible for reappointment or not so here this article is talking about election commissioner only really, but not about the cec so our discussion will be based on this ec now and from mains point of view you have to see like what are the roles and responsibilities of this eci to maintain free and 
fair elections and there may be question like do you think election commission of india is ensuring free and fair elections so in this way also they will be asking your own opinion so you have to develop your own perspective regarding this topic so this topic is important from gs paper to under polity only so we can't connect this topic with any other subject it is only regarding your polity and governance so now let us see this topic in detail so if you see context it says that days ahead of announcement of schedule for upcoming lok sabha so we are having this lok sabha elections this year in 2024 normally election commission is responsible for conducting elections right for president vice president and even mps and mlas but here election commission of india is not responsible for elections of whom that is panchayats and municipalities for panchayats and municipalities eci is not responsible there we have state election commission of india state election commission okay see see state election commission is responsible for conducting elections of panchayats and municipalities so here we are going to have in this mp elections that is lok sabha elections okay so for this lok sabha elections here election commission of india is responsible but here election commissioner he is resigned so it is one cause of concern because before his term is going to be ended by 2027 so he had been resigned early so if you see some details regarding this election commission of india it is a constitutional body and this body which is the sole responsibility of this body it is to ensure free and fair elections so for free and fair elections in the world's largest democracy so this body is responsible and it has a power to supervise to direct and to control entire process of elections in our country okay so from announcement of date till the declaration of results so this body which is responsible and next one here is it has authority to register political parties and even eci is responsible for allocating of symbols and even to monitor campaign expenditures and even to enforce a modal code of conduct and to resolve the disputes relating to the elections so these are the responsibilities or i can say like functions mandate of this election commission of india and next one is which are the constitutional provisions that means which are the articles in our constitution talking about this eci so first one is article 324 to article 329 so we have five important articles 24 25 26 27 28 and 29 okay so these are the articles which are talking about this election commission of india in part 5 of our indian constitution and this constitution which does not lay a specific legislative process for the appointment process so one loophole we can see in our constitution is it is not talking about appointment process so because of this now it became a controversy and in this article 324 of our indian constitution which talks about superintendence direction and control of election in the election commission so election commission consists of chief election commissioner and such members of other election commissioners if any as the president may from time to time fix okay so this article is very important which talks about superintendence direction and control of elections in an election commission so this election commission is consisting of chief election commissioner and even two election commissioners so the president makes appointment okay so who will make the appointment so our president have the power to make the appointment of the cec and as well as ec 
it is based on the advice of union council of ministers which is headed by our prime minister and if you are talking about the removal of these members like CEC and ECs so they can resign any time okay they can resign any time or they can be also removed before the expiry of their tenure or term. So CEC can be removed from the office only through the process which is similar to that of Supreme Court judge. So if you want to remove the Supreme Court judge, so we need to follow the process. So in the same way for the removal of the CEC also, we will be following the same process. And for other election commissioners, they can be removed except on the recommendations of CEC. So we cannot follow any procedure here for the removal of this ECs like CEC. Okay, so this is about this topic and now let us see this cooperative topic. As I gave you like different dimensions regarding what you have to refer from this cooperative's point of view. So if you see title, it says that Cozy coded to get India's first cooperative museum. So if you see context, it says that Amul. Amul is one example that I said now. And this one is Indian Coffee House, Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative, Kerala Dinesh Bidi. So these were some important brands of cooperatives. So they are from diverse sectors. They are united. So they are having only one uniting factors. They all are cooperatives. So these and many others, they will be showcased at the almost ready 14 story international cooperative museum. So it is in Kozi Kode in Kerala. So if we talk about some facts regarding this cooperative society, a cooperative society, it is a voluntary association. It is a voluntary association of individuals. So these individuals, they are having a common needs and they come together and they join their hands to achieve a common economic interest. So all these people who are coming towards each other and they are joining hands to form a cooperative. So they are having one important thing that is common economic interest. An important aim of this cooperative society, it is to serve the interest of the poorer sections of society. And they will follow a principle of self-help and mutual help. So they will come together to help one another and even to help themselves. And this one is cooperative movement is very old in India's independence. And we also added the constitutional provisions in our constitution regarding this cooperative societies. Like 97th constitutional amendment act. So we came up with this 97th constitutional amendment act of 2011. So it led to the establishment of cooperative societies. Okay, so. Because of this 97th Constitutional Amendment Act, now we are calling this formation of cooperatives as a fundamental rights under this Article 19 of our Indian Constitution. And even we also included this cooperatives in this Director Principles of State Policies that is through Article 43B. So I want to give you one important tip. Like in some amendments, you can see small a or small alphabets, right? For example, 19, 1 subclass A, 19, 1 subclass B, C like that. And now here you can see article 43 capital B. So what is the difference between these capitals and smalls? So small means, small alphabets means they are present in our original constitution. Okay, so in our original constitution, so if you have those articles, they are represented by small alphabets. And if you see this capital alphabets, they are seen only for amendments. So with amendments, we will be adding some articles, right? So for those amendments, we will be giving this capital alphabets. So it is a difference that you have to know. So don't confuse with this small alphabets and capital. Small means you are present in original constitution. And capital means they added through the constitutional amendment act and they are introduced later on. And even we added part 9b to the constitution, so which talks about this corporate societies and there are certain articles which talks about this corporate societies like article 243 zh to article 243 zt. 
okay so these are the articles which talks about this cooperative societies and even it authorizes it authorizes the parliament to establish re relevant laws in the case of multi state cooperative societies and the state legislature in the case of other cooperative societies so even the power is given to the parliament and even state legislature as well to take the to come up with the laws for this cooperative societies and what is the significance of this cooperative societies so these cooperatives they have a very great potential to rejuvenate the growth and even they also have the capability to formalize the economy and reduce inequality and even that will be helpful for improving of standard of living of people so these were the some important significance and this is about the overall discussion of this topic i hope it is clear right so if you are understanding the dimensions and if you are understanding how to read and if you are at least understanding what i am saying do hit the like button so there are like around 4000 to 5000 students who are watching this analysis but even i am not getting 1000 likes so i don't understand like whether students you are not understanding my delivery or if you have any suggestions so we are always you are always welcoming the suggestions from students so if you have any problems so please let me know your problems in the comment section so if you have no problems so please hit the like button and please do support me okay yeah and now let us move back to our delhi edition okay so now let us go back to our yeah here you can see in this news page you can see two articles so first one is bharat shakti to show case prowess of indigenous defense equipment so this is try service demonstration on march 12th we are going to have in rajasthan so here you can get a question like recently exercise bharat shakti is in news so what it is related to so it is related to defense okay it is related to defense try service demonstration on march 12th at this pokhran firing range in rajasthan it will be witnessed by pm modi and in this exercise they are going to display tactical operations and they are going to see like maritime operations etc okay so that is the thing so just remember like so this exercise bharat shakti it is going to be held on march 12th and it is going to held in this rajasthan and they are using indigenously manufactured defense equipment of three services like indian army indian navy and as well as air force so this is the highlights of this bharat shakti and here you can see one more article so you can see image of our prime minister modi ji so yesterday while uh, while i'm watching uh, news so i got like lots and lots of images of uh, elephants along with our prime minister so actually it is a one controversial statement which made by congress government but we are not going to see any <laughs> political issue here so just we have to focus on this kaziranga national park so many of you might be knowing that this kaziranga national park is famous for one horned rhinoceros right so not only one horned rhinoceros even we have very good number of elephants are present in this kaziranga national park that we can infer from this images which were posted and here you have to know some dimensions so i will give you the dimensions here so if you want you can make a note so whenever you are seeing any national park is in you so there is a high chance of getting question from that so and so national park so it is talking about kaziranga national park so you have to see like in which state you know very well it is in state of assam and you have to know facts regarding fauna and flora that means important plant species and animal species and you have to see whether it is a tiger reserve or not and you have to see the rivers which are flowing and you have to see like in state of assam other than this kaziranga national park if there are any wildlife sanctuaries or if there are any national parks are located or not so from this area also you have to focus 
and not only that you have to see like what are the problems faced by this Kazinanga National Park always it will be in the floods okay and you have to see like what are the measures can be taken okay and even what is the, so I want to give you one new dimension so we are talking about infrastructure development in this Kasiranga National Park. So what will be the impact? What will be the impact of infrastructure development? What is the impact of infrastructure development in this Kasiranga National Park? So these are the very important dimensions that you have to see from this article point of view. Clear? Yes, now let us move on to another page. Yes, I found this article very uh, interesting. That is, Canal Man picks up his shovel again to help farmers. So, actually, this man who is around 71 years of age, so name is Longi Buya. So, please let me know how many of you are from Bihar because this person is also from Bihar. And he is known, he is very well known as Kenal Man because single handedly, so by using this equipment in his hand, he digged canal of 5 kilometers so that he mainly uh, focused on the rainwater harvesting. And this rainwater that had been brought up down from this Bangeta hills in Bihar, and that water now diverted to the fields for the farming. And again, he wants to go for another type of canal okay and he want to go for about 3.5 kilometers had been carved so far and he wants to complete again 1.5 kilometers in the next one and a half year and even uh, Bihar is also very much famous for one more incident okay that is one more person called as mountain mountain man okay mountain man so actually this man also digs mountain especially to reach the nearby city so the story goes like this like uh, so that man's uh, wife became pregnant and she is suffering from delivery pains and if they want to go to the nearby city so they have to move around the mountain it will be taking a lot of time so while he was taking his uh, pregnant wife to hospital in the middle of the way itself he lost his wife so that time he started so from that time he thought like so we i have to dig this mountain so that i have to make a passage so that i can reach the city okay it should not cause any problem to other people in that same area and at that time when he started when he went with the hammer and a chisel so everyone they laughed against him but finally he dig the mountain and he made a narrow passage and that helped a lot of people so that is the will to be. So from this type of articles, we can understand the will of the people. So with this small instruments, so these people, they are digging the canals and they are going for making of passes in the mountain. So now in this 21st generation or 21st gen, uh, century, so we are having lots and lots of equipments. Why can't we clear this type of examinations? So clearing this examination is that much hard as digging of these mountains? No, not at all. Yes, so it is one of the motivation that we can take. So if you are having a strong will, you can do everything. The strong will is very important. Okay, so try to have a big dream or a big goal and try to work on them every day. So these were the people, they are not digging these canals or not making the passes in the mountains in one day or one year. So it will be taking some years of time. So don't leave your dream in middle. So if you want to achieve your dream, yes, you have to leave something, but don't leave your dream itself. Okay, so that is the thing that we can learn from this type of articles. And these are like motivational articles. They will motivate us. Okay. And let us move on to our science page directly. So there are many articles which are important here and we are going to have a look over them. So first article it is about why India urgently needs a legal framework for genomics. So we had lots and lots of improvements in genomics, right? So recently we had our Genome India project was successful. So we had genomes of around 10,000 humans 
who are present in India. So nowadays earlier it was like very costly but day by day the price of this genetic engineering genomes had been decreased. So because of this there are lots of issues. To address these issues or challenges, to address these issues or challenges, yes, we need to have a definitely law or any policy or any act. That is the thing which is mainly said here. And this topic is from your science and technology. So this year, 100% for 100% I can say you can get question regarding this genomics and law related to this genomics for sure. So now let us see this topic in detail. So if you see context, it says that the last two decades, they have seen unprecedented advances in genomics. Yes, from last 20 years, so there are lots and lots of advancements seen across the world in this field of genomics. And these advancements, they have come in background of our ability to sequence and to analyze and to interpret the genomics at an unprecedented scale. So at a very large scale, we are going for sequencing, analyzing and interpreting of genomes. So along with an emerging and expanding corpus of evidence to act upon the genomic information for a health care decision making. Especially in this healthcare sector, we are using this genomics to improve our decision making. So we are coming up with precision medicine and we are using this genomics to identify the diseases advancedly, okay, in advance. So in this way here, the law which is going to deal with this genomics is also very important. Or the law which is going to regulate this genomics is also very important. So if you see some details, it says that as the cost of sequencing continue to plummet, plummet is nothing but decreasing day by day. So the next decade is expected to see widespread use of genome sequencing in clinical settings. And even the population scale genome programs, they are currently underway in many large and small countries, encompassing millions of genomes that would form the foundation of the field in a paradigm shift. That means nothing but, so we are focusing on this population scale genomics and not only in like uh, small countries, even large countries, small countries, every country in this sake. So they are focusing on this compressing of these genomes. And also, we are, we are coming up with a generation of database. So, India has not been too far behind the human genomics. So, actually in 2009, we started this project of genomes. And 1000 genomes has been sequenced in 2019 during this COVID-19 period. And after that, we came up with this Genome India project, which is a target of 10,000 genomes. And we successfully did with that. And these efforts undoubtedly have contributed to significant insights into diseases. So we are going to have a lot of details and data regarding this disease soon. And even we are going to have lots and lots of estimates of prevalence of many conditions. And more importantly, we are going to focus on the baseline data for decision making. And if you're talking about this article, which says that not only equality, but even equity and diversity is very important. So data protection is one of the important components. So we have to urgently come up with a legal framework to control this. Because right to data is nothing but it is involving under right to, right to privacy. And even we have this data protection law in India. So here health ministry, which is also coming with some initiatives. So actually what are the laws which are present in our health sector? They are not much strong. So there is one example which is saying that like health ministry steering committee clearances, they are required for research collaborations. And here the director general of foreign trade notification enables samples to cross borders for commercial purpose. For commercial purpose, they are also enabling this cross border sending of samples. So because of this, there is a wide range of exploitation is seen by this large pharma companies and research organizations. So this is one cause of concern. So because of this, we need to have proper law to stop the misuse in India. So this is a thing which mainly said here. Okay, that's it. 
So for better future, so what are the measures can be taken? So first one here is we have to give the value for right guidance. And we have to come up with the right policies in advancing human genomics. And we have to have the better effective regulations that will ensure a fair playing field. And we need to have the clear policies that will improve the trust among the stakeholders. And we have to encourage collaboration and innovation in this field. And we have to also focus on ethical principles, ethical guidelines, and, and especially in this field of healthcare, and we have to focus on how we are going to improve the outcomes and how we have to improve the quality of life. Okay, so all these things are very important. And next topic it is about weathering. So in this weathering, weathering is a topic from your geography. You will be type, you will be reading like uh, physical weathering, chemical weathering, and biological weathering. And it is very important topic. So weathering is very, very important. So it is one of the important reason for the formation, the destruction of landforms. Yes or no? So let us see the dimensions. So this topic is important from your static syllabus from your GS paper one, that is geography, that is weathering. And you can see this topic directly in your NCRT. So it is a very lengthy topic. So in this weathering, we have three types of weathering. So how many types? Three types. So first one is physical weathering. And second one is chemical weathering. And third one is biological weathering. So here we have different types like loading, unloading. And here in the chemical weathering, we have carbonation, solution, hydration, etc. And the biological weathering, so we have animals and plants. So this article, it is talking about especially chemical weathering, that too because of carbon dioxide, that is carbonation. So now let us see this topic in detail. So this article saying that, Atmosphere carbon dioxide, that means what about the carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere. So please let me know the gaseous composition in our atmosphere. So which gas is highest amount and which gas is least amount. And what is the percentage of carbon dioxide. So please let me know in the comment box, don't forget about this. Okay. So atmospheric carbon dioxide draw down from the chemical weathering of rocks peaks across the range of moderate erosion rates according to new study so new study which has been done okay it is related to carbon dioxide so how it is causing erosion and this study they found that this carbon dioxide is causing moderate erosion so if you see deep into this study it says that the findings they provide new insights into constraints of weathering mediated carbon dioxide drawdown and even this study which also helpful to conflict the data regarding impact of erosion in the carbon cycle. Yes, you will be reading about this different uh, geochemical cycles from your environment and ecology point of view, right? So there is impact of erosion on this carbon cycle. So this data that we got from this new study and the chemical weathering which mediates the concentration of carbon dioxide in atmosphere that means what happens so in this chemical weathering carbon dioxide will be mixing with water molecules and it will forms okay like carbonic acid so please balance this okay so carbon dioxide whenever it is mixing with water it is forming carbonic acid and because of this this carbonic acid so that will be very uh, important reason for the carbonation process that is it will also reacts with this limestone and it is causing caves and also different erosional land forms which are formed by this groundwater it is because of this carbonation okay and next important thing here is what is this chemical weathering chemical weathering is nothing but the molecular structure of rocks and soils that will be changing okay 
so clays they make up around 40 percentage of the chemicals in all sedimentary rocks on the earth so carbonation is nothing but whenever carbon dioxide which is in present in the air or soil they will combine with the water and this process is called as carbonation and in this process whenever this carbon dioxide is mixing with water that will form a weak acid that is called as carbonic acid and that is having the capability to dissolve the rock so carbonic acid which is especially effective on dissolving this limestone and it is forming some important erosional land forms like caves and next important topic it is about the new device which helps to detect the leaks from surgical joints so normally if there is any disease and if it is very severe we will go in for surgery and especially in the life of women they have to go surgeries especially for the c-section c-section is also one of the major surgery so many people they will be thinking that it's normal surgery it is not a normal surgery it is a very like it is also a major surgery because seven layers in your stomach will be cut okay to bring your baby into the world so it is also a major surgery but many people they are having the misconception like so it is a minor surgery it is a major surgery and what happens here is so whenever whenever there is any surgery is happening so they will be uh, doing sutures or stitches commonly we are calling it them stitches so they will be covering this sutures or stitches with the cotton sometimes what happens the leaks happen blood leak so this blood leak is very dangerous so many a times we will be not noticing that leak from the surgical site so now we are going to have a new device so it is going to help to detect if there is any blood leak in this in the surgical joints so if you see the details of this device it says that a new device tested in pigs and this device which helps to monitor and early detection of this ph changes in this deep tissues due to post operative leaks and especially in this gastrointestinal surgery also so we are going to understand if there are any leaks are present or not and these leaks they occur in the high rates that means after surgery around 3 to 7 days of surgery you will be getting sometimes leaks so this will be very fatal if you are not going through that so we need a constant monitoring so because of this after surgery is done so you will be not released immediately or you will be not discharged immediately or next day or next day so they will be keeping you in the hospital for 5 days to 7 days so after proper monitoring proper checkups only they will be discharging you right so researchers, researchers they have developed a novel class ph responsive materials for real time ultrasound measurements of ph changes so that will be indicative of so based on the changing of ph so we will be understand like whether there are any surgical leaks or not okay so these are the very important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper and even in this faq page also you can see so this article it is about abortion rights so why it is in a news so globally that means across the globe france is the first country to guarantee right to abortion in the constitution so on march 8th it was we celebrated like international women's day right so on this international women's day so france took this decision of giving this abortion as a right guaranteed right to women so please let me know what is your opinion on this and next topic it is about free and free trade so it is very important topic so recently WTO ministerial summit happened in Abu Dhabi right so in this event or in this meet there were some important discussions happened so let us see one by one so there are many challenges which are discussed here like many developed countries like big countries are focusing on protectionism so they are focusing on inward strategies and they want to protect their own country's economy by increasing of tariffs on other countries' imports. So these are the discussions which are mainly done and even they discussed about the problems of supply chains and even how the smooth flow, flow of goods and services can be done. So these things are mainly discussed here. And if you see here, India's approach is very important. So India talked about PSH. So this is the first thing that is public stock holding. That means your government will be purchasing food grains from farmers directly at MSP. That is minimum support price. And these food grains, they will be stored by the government to ensure food security. So we have this Pradhanamantri, 
गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना अन्न अंतोदय योजना सो अंडर दिस गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग फूड ग्रेन एट सब्सिडाइज प्राइस एंड इवन फ्री फूड ग्रेन अंडर दिस प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना राइट सो गवर्नमेंट इज फोकसिंग ऑन एंश्योरिंग फूड सिक्योरिटी फॉर एट हंड्रेड मिलियन बेनिफिशरीज बट हियर अकॉर्डिंग टू डबल टी ओ नॉम्स सो वॉट आर द एम एस पी यू आर प्रोड्यू वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग सो दैट एम एस पी इज वेरी हाई इट इज डिस्टॉर्टिंग इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड बट हियर इंडिया इज प्रोवाइडिंग एम एस पी फॉर फूड सिक्योरिटी एंड नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हियर इज अदर की कंट्रीज आर रिलेटेड टू फिशरीज सेक्टर एंड मोरेटोरियम ऑन कस्टम ड्यूटीज सो इंडिया इज a low subsidizer of fishery sector and also india said that developing countries they can be allowed to give subsidies for their poor fishermen to catch the fish within their exclusive economic zone and on another side india also said that this developed countries they have to stop providing subsidies for the fishery sector okay so these things are mainly said and on e-commerce also india along with several developing nations have been consistently seeking an end to moratorium in place since 1998 okay but it has not been done so these are the some important topics that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper so i hope you understand the topics and if you really like this class so please do hit the like button and if you don't like the class hit the dislike button okay no problem and please do subscribe to rathor's is academy don't forget to share this video to your friends and if you want to get the mentorship and if you want to talk to me directly you can come to the office and i'm also posting this office address in the description box so thank you so much for watching